Scott, thanks so much. And of course, the red wave came out in full force tonight. Even when Bulldog Stadium had that power outage, putting a halt to the game, fans for the most part stayed put. KC 24's Dennis Valera live at Bulldog Stadium. And Dennis, the team's record was really energizing those fans. <laughs> Yeah, Megan, you got that right. Now, you know you have a strong fan base if they stay put after the power goes out for some time. Now, no matter how long you've been part of the Red Wave, everyone agrees 2018 is a great season to be a part of it. The Bulldogs hit the field to a roaring stadium full of the Red Wave. While this can be the usual for homecoming night, Fans say this year's hot season has been a turning point for the fan base. We're not really a talkative team. No one really supports us that much, and it's cool to be out here and support our team. Longtime fans like Sam Collado agree, saying he's been noticing bigger turnout this season. I mean, the Red Wave fans always good every year. Uh, this year, they're starting to come back out again because, you know, the season is a lot better and the record as well, too. Yeah. The Red Wave strength fully demonstrated in this picture. When some of the stadium's lights went out in the first quarter, fans took out their phones and turned on their flashlights. One, two, three, go, go dogs! Now, the last time the Gwynn family was at Bulldog Stadium, they saw the dogs lose to UNLV. Despite all the losses they've witnessed, they've stuck to their team, and seeing how this season's unfolded so far, they're beyond optimistic. I think that we're going to come back tonight and be uh, top 25 next week. If I can tell you from here to Kalinga, where we're from, fans are excited, we're ready to go, and we're ready to support the Bulldog Nation. Now the next home game is November 17th and they are will be taking on San Diego State live here at Bulldog Stadium tonight. Dennis Valera, KC24 Local News That Matters.